Hi friends, this is Alvin here. Welcome to my networking channel. Hope all are doing good. And today let us understand what is QoS pre-classify. So I'm going to discuss about QoS pre-classify. So with unencrypted and unencapsulated, unencapsulated traffic, when the traffic is not encrypted or encapsulated, so the routers can match and mark the QoS values and perform the ingress and the egress action based on the marking. So based on the marking, so the router will classify and mark, mark based on the layer 2 and the layer 3 marking. So layer 3 marking done at the packet level and the layer 2 marking done at the frame level right so that is there are the two types of marking so when the traffic is not encrypted or encapsulated it will do the normal marking based on the classification and the marking it will forward the traffic right so that's a normal scenario what happens when the traffic is encapsulated so here in this architecture i am going to encapsulate this ip protocol using gre so gre what it does it will encapsulate one protocol into another so here i am using only ipv4 so gre i can uh, uh, encapsulate multiple types of protocol i can encapsulate ipv4 in ipv6 and also I can encapsulate IP in IP. So it is just like putting box, one box inside another box. So that is the encapsulation. And at the receiving end, it will decapsulate and it will pause the original packet. So it is a way of creating the virtual connection, virtual tunnel between the source and the destination. So the, it is that is what we call as a GRE. So when I'm doing encapsulation, what happened? We can't see the original IP address. So the contents are not available for classification or inspection. So this normally happen when we are classifying based on the access list or network based application recognition. So when you are classifying the traffic based on the access list and if you are encrypting or encapsulating this tunnel, what happened? The original IP header will not be available. So only it will classify the tunnel based on GRE. So assume I am having using both traffic say we are using an ICMP and a GRE traffic. So what happened whenever I am just doing a ping from source to destination you can see the classification only in the GRE. So inspection we are able to do only in the GRE tunnel but you can't see the traffic classification within the IP header that is ICMP traffic. So that is a pro issue right. So to prevent such scenario we are going to do the classification on the inner header. So without this QA is pre-classified, it will always do classification on the outer header, that is a GRE header. So to do the pre-classification on the inner header, say IP header, so what happened? We are going to do this QA is pre-classified. So for a better understanding, now let us go to the architecture and let us now define the tunnel. So I already configured the directly connected interfaces. So now let us create the GRE tunnel between R1 and R3. So after that, let us create the static door between R1 and R3. So let us go to the configuration mode. So interface tunnel 1, IP addresses 172. So what is the tunnel I am going to create? 172 13.1. 13.1. Let us create the tunnel. So then the tunnel source will be the source address. Source address is 192.168.12.1. So 192.168.12.1. And the destination IP will be 13.2. 13.2 will be the destination IP, right? I have created, uh, sorry, tunnel source 12.1. And the tunnel destination will be 13.2. So let us remove this. So the tunnel destination IP will be 192.168.13.2. Okay. So I have done this. Now let us view the tunnel. Show run interface tunnel 1 okay so let us create the tunnel isos so it is removed so interface tunnel 1 and let us create the tunnel source so tunnel source ip will be 192.168.12.1 okay so this is the thing i have to create the tunnel so we have created the tunnel similar way let us create the tunnel on r3 so i'm going to create the tunnel between r1 and r3 so that is the purpose of creating the tunnel so these are the tunnel source and the tunnel destination interfaces so let us go to r3 Go to the configuration mode interface, tunnel 1 and the IP address is 172.16.13.3, right? So 13.3.255.255.0 and let us create the tunnel source. So tunnel source will be 192.168.13.2, this interface 192.168.13.2 and the tunnel destination will be this one 12.1 so that's the way we'll create the tunnel right GRE tunnel so tunnel destination will be 192.168.12.1 yeah so now we are done with the configuration 
So now you're done with the configuration. Now what I'm going to do. So now I'm going to create the static road for tunnel reachability. So let us create the static road because still the tunnel will be down only. Show interfaces tunnel one still it is down right. So I have to create the static route. So configuration mode IP route. So I'm going to create this 192.168.13.2 is the destination IP 192.168.13.2. So 255.255.255.0 and so let us make it as 13.0. Okay for reaching the destination network 13.0. And this is a subnet mask. And let us give the gateway. Gateway will be 12.2. So 192.168.12.2. So 12.2. And let us go to R3. R3, go to the configuration mode. Let us create the tunnel. What is the tunnel is? So let us get the static load. The remote is 192.168.12.0. 255.255.255.0. And the destination IP is this is a gateway 192 168.13.1. So this is the first static route I created. So then we have to create a one more route. So now let us create the one more route. So IP interface brief. So now let us see, see the tunnel interface. So tunnel interface coming up. So let us see here. Show IP interface brief. Okay. So now let us create a one more static route for this tunnel reachability. What is the thing I'm going to do? IP route 3.3.3. So this is a loopback address I define here. Let us see here. So run interface loopback 0. So, so IP route the loopback of 3.3.3. So the loopback is 3.3.3. This address I created. So then 255.255.255. So it will be reached via this one, tunnel 172.16.13.3, right? So this is for the, I will tell why I'm creating the static route. So IP route 3.3.3, we have to reach via this 13.3 tunnel. Similar way, let us go to R3, go to the configuration mode, IP route 1.1.1, 255.255.255. So we reach via 13.1. 172.16.13.1. So now everything you have configured. So now what I'm going to do. So I already told whenever you are creating the access list and we are whenever you are creating any specific access list and classifying the traffic, in that case, we'll having issues. So it will run into issue. What happened? The, the classification will be always performed on the outer header. So that's the GRE header. So we can't because this will be uh, this in, inside uh, inner IP header will be hidden. So let us see the configuration. Now let us go to the configuration and I'm going to create two, two traffic. One is an ICMP and a GRE traffic. So let us create the access list. IP access list extender ICMP and permit ICMP. Any, any. Similar way for GRE, we'll create an access list. Since it's a GRE tunnel, I'm creating the access list for GRE also. GRE and permit GRE any so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to classify the traffic so that's the thing i want to show you let us classify the traffic so class map so let us create the traffic as icmp icmp okay and the match access group name that's the access list name is icmp similar way let us go to the configuration mode let us create another class map for gre gre and let us create the match access group name is we already created the access list for GRE, right? So G, this is the access list I have created max access group name GRE. Okay, so I created two class maps. Now I'm going to map to the policy map. So I'm going to create the policy. So now let us see the differences. So now before that, I want to show you another thing. So normally by default, the tunnel will copy the uh, TO is by that is a type of service from the inner header to the outer header. So how we can see it. So now let us create the traffic thing. So just do it right click, start the capture, click OK. So I now I started the capture on this corresponding interface. So now I am going to start the ping from source to the destination. Source is nothing but 1.1.1. So this is a loop address I created that is 1.1.1. And the destination address is, let us see. Destination address here is 3.3.3. Okay, so this is a loopback I created. So this 3.3.3 is reachable via this address. We already created a static road. So this is reachable via, via this GRE tunnel. 
So what I am going to do, let us create a, let us do a ping from source towards a destination. So let us filter by ICMP. Let us ping. Let us do an extended ping. So ping, enter target address is 3.3.3. .3. Before that, I think we can do a basic ping. 3.3.3, I am able to ping or not. Yeah, I am able to ping. So let us do a extended ping. Protocol IP, then give the target IP address. So repeat count, let us give 20. Okay. So time, time is nothing. So extended ping, let us give yes. Because you have to give the source address. So I am pinging from source, the loopback address 1.1.1. So type of service will give it as 150. So 160 will give. So now click enter, enter, enter. So I will tell what I mean to say is let us now click this corresponding packet. So there are two headers. This is the inside inner IP header and this is the outer header, right? 1.1.1. This is reachable via tunnel and this is the inside IP header. So you can see whenever if i copy it will copy the tos byte so tos marking is given as 160 so for 160 the marking value is cs5 right class 5 so what happen it will automatically copy the tos byte from the tos done at the layer 3 packet marking right so it will automatically copy the cs5 from so inside header to the outer header so you can see here so you can see the 12.1 and also you can see the other interface Another one is 1.1. Let us filter this 1.1. This is a GRA IP thing, right? 1.1.1 and 3.3.3. .3. So now let us see. You are able to see this is a GRE tunnel IP encapsulation IP and this is a normal IP protocol. So you can see here this also it will be copied, copy file. That is a CS5. So that means the TOS byte will be copied from the source that is the inner header to the outer header. So that's a normal thing. But whenever if you are doing any classification based on the access list, so I now created the access list. Then I have created a class map. So we have already created the class map. So I created a class map name ICMP and GRE. So now I'm going to map this class map. Let us see policy map. Let us make it as polis. So now I have to ma ma match that class name to this policy map. So the class name will give it as you can see from here ICMP, right? ICMP. So then do an exit. Then class GRE. So both the classes I have matched, I have mapped to this corresponding policy map. So this I want to show you whenever, but if I'm classifying any traffic and if I'm encapsulating with the GRE tunnel, what will happen to the classification? So it will do always the classification, classification based on the outer GRE header. So that's the thing I want to show you. So now you've done that. Now let us go to the configuration mode. Let us apply to this corresponding interface, fast Ethernet 0 by 0. So interface, fast Ethernet 0 by 0. Service policy output. So what does the thing polis? P O L I C. That's the policy we have created. Policy map I have created. So now let us view the policy map. Show policy map interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0. So now you can see the classes, right? ICMP and GRE. So ICMP for inner header and this for GRE is outer header. So you'll always encapsulate the IP protocol into another protocol. That is GRE. So this will be the outer and there's a pre there's a pre header and there's a post header. So always it will do classification based on the post header. Whenever I'm creating any access list, we'll run into such issue. So to avoid such situation, we are using this pre-classify command. So still I have not applied that pre-classify command. So now let us do a ping to the outer interface that is 3.3.3. .3 so let us do the show run include route. So include route you can see here that is yeah show IP route. So let us include 3.3.3. .3 so this static route is reaching via this tunnel right. So this thing I am going to do a continuous ping. Ping 3.3.3. .3 so repeat let us give 20 counts. So now you can see the matching how it is doing. So now let us do the show policy map and you can see that the policy map, the, the packets are classified based on the outer header, right? That is, it should classify based on the inner header. Since I'm encapsulating with the tunnel, I'm just doing a classification, a classification based on the access list. So it is doing the classification based on the outer GRE header. That should not be the case. It is always to classify on the inner header. So it is not even doing the classification marking. So to avoid such scenario, I have to apply the uh, QoS pre-classify command. So how to do that? So how to do that? Go to the configuration mode and go to the corresponding interface. Interface tunnel 0 and QoS pre-classify is the command. So once I have done that, then I have to clear the counters. 
clear the counters now let us view the show policy map so now so now we have created the pre classify command right show run interface so let us do check it out show run interface so we have to apply to the show run interface tunnel one command so tunnel command so okay sorry we have to apply to this interface go to interface tunnel one so qa is pre classify so what did this actually so previously we saw the classification based on the interface so classification was doing based on the gre tunnel right so we are seeing the packets only matching gre so that means it is not doing on the in inner grid that is the icmp packet we are not seeing the classification so that is the issue so after, after applying this QS pre classify it will also always perform the classification on the inner header, that's the inner IP header, before encapsulating with the GRE header will do classification based on this inner header. So that is ICMP in this case. So now let us do the continuous ping. So now let us do a continuous ping. So now let us see how the packets are matching. You should match based on the ICMP packet. So now let us do the policy map. Faster than interface, faster than a 0 by 0, right? So you can see now the ICMP packets. Previously I told it was it was matching packets based on the outer header, right? That is GRE packets were matching previously. In the previous thing, to, your GRE packets were matching. So after applying this QS please classify command on the tunnel interface, you are able to see the packets are matching for ICMP. So this is the exact thing you should work. So for that, in, especially whenever you are encapsulating any packet with the GRE tunnel, and second thing is whenever you are classifying the traffic based on the access list, so then we will run into such issue. So to prevent that issue, so what happened? It will, it will automatically classify the traffic based on the outer header. So to prevent such situation, we are just enabling the QS pre-classify command on the tunnel interface. So once I done that, automatically it will always do the classification on the inner header. So before encapsulating, it will do the classification. So based on the classification, it will forward the traffic. So that's the purpose of Q is pre-classify. Let us see now. So you are seeing the packet matches, right? So there is also an another option we can do. What is an another option is instead of doing this classification on the this uh, service policy that the fast Ethernet interface and also I can do it on tunnel interface. So there is an another option I want to show you. Let us go to show run interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0. So I am going to remove this interface command. Interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0. So previously we were able to do it on this corresponding policy map, right? So I'm going to create the policy map on the tunnel interface itself. So let us do it. Go to the configuration mode. So interface, so interface faster than it, 0 by 0, no service policy output police, right? So I'm removing this. Now let us go to the tunnel interface. So this is a second method. So let us go to the tunnel interface. So now let us remove this pre-classify command. Interface tunnel 1. So there is no QoS pre-classify command. So instead directly you can apply this service policy output police. So we can directly map this corresponding policy into this tunnel interface. So then also it will work. So now let us do the clear counters. So now let us do the clear counters. And let us do initiate a ping again. So ping 3.3.3 .3 and repeat, let us repeat 20 packets. So now you can see the same result. So now let if you are doing a show policy map interface on this corresponding interface, you can't see anything. Because I removed the policy map, so now you can correspondingly see in the tunnel interface. So go to tunnel 1. So now you can see the packet map. So I removed the classify command, I have directly applied to the tunnel interface this policy. So you can do that way also. First, either you can do either using QA's pre-classify or you can remove the pre-classify and apply the policy directly to the tunnel interface. So this is how the pre-classify works. So the to, uh, just for a summary, what I want to tell is, so with the unencrypted or an unencapsulated traffic, the router will match and mark the QS values based on the ingress and the egress actions. Right? That is the thing it will do. So and it also it always inspect the packet based on the layer 3 marking. That is the IP packet. So this is a normal scenario. But what happens when the traffic is encapsulated using a tunnel? So what happens? It will always perform the classification based on the GRE header, outer header, not the inner header. 
So to avoid such, such situation, we are just enabling the QoS free classification on the tunnel interface. Then automatically what time will perform the classification based on the inner header, not on the outer header. So that's the way this QoS pre classify work. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thanks and have a wonderful day. Thank you.